Hello, my name is Peggy. I'm the programme director of Writers' Centre Norwich and today we're going on a tour of Norwich's independent bookshops. We have put together this walking tour of um, the lovely independent bookshops of Norwich for you, so you can follow along and find out more from our website. Never, never gets old for me. <laughs> I think I had that book. <laughs> oh, I did have that book. Oh, isn't that funny? I remember it. I moved to Norwich at the end of November to take up the job with the, the wonderful Writer Centre and it's been wonderful to get to know it a little bit over these past couple of months. Um, it's really a very beautiful city and we've been made to feel you know, entirely welcome. And I know this little corner already quite well actually because I'm a big fan of uh, the Grosvenor Fish Bar and Birdcage. Um, but Norwich is funny, it feels like it constantly shifts, like it feels like you come in one door and walk out another and you've come out the back of you know, the cupboard in Narnia. So Simon, what will be your first port of call in a shop like this? Where should I where should I go first? Uh, I would What's your probably phase? head straight down here. Yeah, I don't think I read enough comics. Maybe this can persuade me that I should read I should read more. Because Dundee, of course, where I've, whence I have come, is a home of comics. A big comics Emily up there. And uh, the world's first professor of comics. This one here. Mm -hmm. One of the lovely things about um, independent bookshops, one of the many lovely things, is the people behind them, the people who, who work in them and who, who own them and who love them, and how that they've got a book just for you that they are going to sell you. Um, and that, as a reader, is just so special. Norwich is a UNESCO city of literature, and it received this designation in 2012. It was the first city in England to be so. And what that means is it's had a fantastic, rich past. It's a wonderful time to be here today as a reader and writer, and it's got even bigger plans for the future. We're on Elm Hill, which is actually one of my favourite bits of Norwich. I think if you close your eyes, you could sort of imagine you're actually in 17th century Belgium. And Norwich is full of these fabulous little pockets and alleys and, and side streets and windy bits. So you're always guaranteed a surprise. We've only been here two minutes, but I've already found two new favourite books. First of all, Kate Greenaway's beautiful birthday book, which has a little, little poem for every day. And then this one, I like for its shout line. A new author, a new angle, a new style. Book to make you laugh and think. <laughs> I like that. Oversize humour. Too much. So tell you're on this amazing kind of corner unit, as it yeah. were. Can you talk us through how that process goes about? How do you decide where you're going to be? Did you have a mind? I sat over there in Costa having my lunch when I used to work part time. And I would sit there and look at this building, which I'd known forever as a florist. It was called Stevenson's Florist, had been for a hundred odd years. And, uh, and this is a lovely building. And yeah. it has that kind of higgledy piggledy feel of old bookshops. The architecture of the city, the feel of the city, it feels like a kind of European city. There's something about the, the, the layout of the city that I think lends itself to an artistic temperament. Also, it's so close to the sea and it's so close to the kind of w w both beauty and wilderness of the East Anglian countryside, which is all inspiration for writers, obviously. And it's not far from London, which helps because that's obviously going to be the capital of the publishing world. So when you go to LA and everyone you meet is an actor, here everyone you meet is a writer. Norwich is full of writers who live here. They come here and they don't go away. They do the MA in creative writing and they can't bear to leave or, or they grow up here as writers and they just want to stay. There's something low key and lovely about Norwich and Norfolk and it, it seems to be a really fertile place for writers to be. I think this is the only place in the country where there's a proper old fashioned book department doing what department stores used to do. Hands up if you're ready to Brighton. Childhood, childhood shelves, look. Little woman. Look at that. Oh, that's the best bit about these kind of shops. Wesleyan Sunday School awarded to Hilda Rackham. We are almost done on our um, awesome tour of all the bookshops, but we've got one final stop, which I'm told is somewhere among the majesty of Norwich covered market. So I'm going to try and find it 
Uh, wish me luck. Hmm. Uh, straight, I'm going to take this tactic. I'm going straight up and then not get distracted by the lovely bird. This way, is he? Ooh, I didn't know this was here. This way. Ah, soft but light through yonder window bricks. So where are we? We're at the top of Rue. Here we go. We are back at the forum where we began our tour this morning. Um, we hope that you'll take part in the tour and join in and go and visit all these wonderful, beautiful, diverse, you know, exceptional bookshops that are here in Norwich. Find out more on our website. Um, find us on Twitter and tell us all about it. Tell us if we missed any, share your pictures. Can't wait to hear. Bye.